Placer County is certainly a place of many charms, but along with all that beauty, you have the dangers during wildfire season. As the, the pace and scale of these disturbances from wildfire grows, how can we as a group increase our pace and scale of risk mitigation? Joe Flannery works for Vibrant Planet, a company that has developed a digital platform called Land Tender. It uses computer modeling to guide land use decisions with fire safety in mind. Land Tender quickly figures out the risk reduction priorities. Placer County has purchased land tender as part of the county's regional forest health program. We want to maximize our risk reduction while minimizing the impacts. This Monday night meeting in Auburn was one of several the county's regional forest health division is hosting over the next several weeks. Here are some of the points brought up at this meeting. Three quarters of Placer County is covered by forested land. A majority of those forested areas are categorized by Cal Fire as having either high or very high fire danger. Placer County has more occupied structures in fire prone areas adjacent to forested lands than any other county in California. Residents attending this meeting learn how land tender works and they are encouraged to fill out surveys to help guide priorities. All of this building upon the work already done by various agencies to reduce wildfire risk. So the point, at least as I understand it, of this regional forest health program is to kind of be a hub for that, to work together in a multi-jurisdictional effort to start mitigating that wildfire risk. This is very informational to have us start to think about forestry health and what we need to do to manage that better. I'm also very excited to realize that there is a way for the different agencies involved to start to find ways to communicate with each other and that's very encouraging. The next meeting in the series will be held March 27th at 6 o'clock at the North Tahoe Event Center in Kings Beach. In Auburn tonight, covering local news that matters, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.